Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and today is pretty much an open day. Like I didn't necessarily have any major plans for what I was going to do for today's episode. I just knew that hey, I want to record something. I like playing Wizard of Legend. No clue what I wanted to record. So I think today we might, since it is kind of open, maybe we'll do a mystery box. Does that sound good to everyone? Alright. And it's going to be jazz soundtrack today. Alright, so... What are we going to build? I think today... Day. Well, first of all, let's go grab the mystery box. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a... I think today we do a summoning build. There aren't a lot of things that actually count as summoning, though. At least not as far as signatures are concerned. It's also been a while since I've done a summoning build, so, you know, what the hell. So, I guess the question is, do I do the Null Flash agents? <laughs> yeah, why not? We'll do the Null Flash agents. Um, we'll do... I kind of like the null of the Line Shock Agent, so we'll do that. Then we'll teleport. Then... Oh, wait, no. There we go. Actually, do I want to do that? Maybe I want to do a difference. Maybe Air Spinner, or maybe Bouncing Blaze. I've been getting a kick out of throwing fireballs lately, so... That's a little bit of ranged assault, I think, is what we have to go with. And there's one other thing I want to do, but that means we have to do this real quick. And by the way, the drink of the day is I decided to do another strawberry banana smoothie today. So I altered my recipe a little bit, I added just a little bit of spinach, just for that little, like, healthy superfood boost, and to add a little bit more body to the smoothie. It is thick and yummy, and mm, it's hit, it hits the spot, especially after a long day of running errands. Like, today, when, today I went and... I went and took care of getting a copy of my car's title so I could take care of that. I told you guys a little bit about that yesterday. Or at least I mentioned that it's something that had to get done. But that is done now. I've got a copy of my car's title. I took care of what I needed to take care of with that. The information is sent off. In fact, just about everything that I needed to take care of as far as that whole mess is concerned is done now. So now I'm just waiting for my insurance to follow through. Which I know the kind of idea in mind is, oh, but what if they don't, or what if they follow through too late? Well, unfortunately, I have very little control over that. Oh no, I dropped it and got nothing. What am I going to do? And now we'll get another mystery box. 
It's a mystery box with extra summoning. Alright, and I think this time around we're going to go without the retro floor plan, but is there another cursed relic that I want to take instead? What is Catastrophic Codex? <laughs> oh, whatever, I'm not too worried about that. Anyway, I'll just keep going until I find one that I like. Hmm. You know what, let's go with it. I'm okay with exploding enemies. And I'm not gonna worry about... I'm about this, I'll just go. All right. So that little... I mean, the saga is not complete. No, I don't want that. But I've taken care of now every part of, every part of that saga that I can take. So, yeah, I suppose now we just play the waiting game. Fortunately, my car rental runs out on Friday, so... So, that's going to be fun to deal with. Um, there are things here that I like. But, I'm gonna wait, because there's always the possibility that, that there will be a lot at Iris' shop that I want. Alright, this is working out very well so far. I'm liking this. Ow! You jerk. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, well, that's different. Just get this immediately? That usually doesn't happen. critical hit chance. I don't know if I care about that. I might take this anyway, just because I'm not sure the activation speed matters for summons. So hopefully this doesn't end up being a mistake, hopefully it doesn't slow down my... Hopefully it doesn't slow down their attack speed, but I do think it's the right idea and I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. And hopefully we get the Magician's Outfit out of it, and that would be, ev that would be everything I hope for. As far as this game is concerned, there's obviously other things that I would hope for.
Looks like they are attacking a little slower. That's... That's not good. why I'm okay with this is because they are distracting enemy attention, and I think that's worth quite a bit. Mm. Smoothie's all gone. that magician's top hat now. Why is it every time I take a, wick, a risk on the magician's wand, I end up paying for it later? I should just stick to my original plan of don't pick it up until unless I see the top hat. speed of of your arcanas is always a mess. I don't know why I keep why I keep messing with that as if it's not going to affect anything. But right now right now I'm okay with it. It's just gonna be when things get more difficult that I'm going to have my issues. Sometimes summon builds can be a little iffy, but this... I don't know. This is fun. I know there's also a contingent of folks who are like, How can you have fun with a run where essentially the AI is doing the run for you? Well, part of that stems from how things like that work in other games. Sometimes, sometimes things like that work out quite nicely. And other times, it's just a pain. So it's nice. It's nice when it actually works out. I guess is kind of the underlying thing there. Definitely upgrade the line shock agents so now the streams last longer and do more damage. That's what I'm talking about. Go this way. Uh, reduces cooldowns for all summon arcana. Alright, I'm down. Unfortunately, no top hat, so I still feel as though this was a bit of a mistake. But, there's always the hope that... Uh, 
I mean, okay, I don't know how I feel about having this. But, there it is. That is the Hunter Stiletto, alright. Real quick, let me see if... nope, alright. So we move on. And don't forget, we also have the mystery box that we can drop at the third floor. And unfortunately, it's no longer Christmas, so now it's back up to... I, I want you guys to get two of it. Get two, right, instead of just one. Kick him while he's down. And screw you! That's what you get for having the most unfair, unfair signature spell in the game. I don't want that, by the way. This is not the run for Field Berserk. <laughs> Yay! I did it right. Oh god, I just noticed that with the, that with the essentially the archaic cheat sheet, otherwise known as summoning liner notes, that as soon as they go away, I can summon them summon them again right away. Um Okay, well I like Jay's chakra locket, that's for sure. I'm just gonna grab that, you know, sight unseen for the rest of the shops because, frankly, Jade's shop is locking. Good. And as far as why I wanted to go without the retro floor plan this time around. One, I use it a lot. And I wanted to just kind of shift things up a little bit, have a normal run, especially after a day of running, of running all those errands. I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. Secondly, and for maybe the more salient point here, I just wanted to... I wanted a little bit more variety in my rooms, because the retro floor plan also makes it so that you get basically just a bunch of arena rooms, and that's fine, but, you know, you get no treasure chest, you get no room variety, so basically no alteration of strategy. It just gets... it just gets a little boring, is what I'm trying to get at. So, this is my way of both simplifying things and, in a way, spicing them up, because otherwise we'd just be getting all, all of the same room type, and it would just be, it would just be a, little, a little boring. And yeah, it's more challenging by, kind of by default, because you're not being challenged with anything other than lots of enemies. 
which, yeah, on one side there's positive, on the other side there's negative. It should be a double-edged sword. And that's, that's basically the gameplay alteration that those cursed relics offer, offer you. It's just a way to change things up. And I appreciate it, you know? I do appreciate the little alterations that they allow. the red one. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Oh, it doesn't even matter. Get it. There's nothing I wanted to sell. boss that works against my build. That's, you know, fun. It's all the fun I ever wanted it to be. I'm gonna take a risk and just move forward, and maybe we'll get... Oh. Mm, there's the last of my smoothie. Maybe we'll get some pretty decent... Some pretty decent arcana choices, like, you know, something else that works off of summons. Good lord, I am just getting my ass kicked. I mean, this goes right along with the <clears throat> Hunter's Stiletto, so we'll definitely take that. Alright, I pretty much have to buy this, and then we will wait and see what comes after that. Make the portal, stupid. Mom, help! Dark Sage is calling me stupid again! I wasn't talking to you! Because of my build, I think the Sinister Ledger would actually be really strong. Alright, what do we got? Well, I mean, Aqua Beam would be pretty decent. I would still prefer another summon, but... But... That is pretty strong. It would be good against good against Zeal. I may come back for that. Come, my army of me. We will show them that no world is safe from my wrath. Not even the world created inside this castle.
oh, do you have anything I want? Alright, well, if the other half of the dependable cake is here, I'll definitely want that. I don't think it is, though. I don't remember seeing the dependable carrot cake in Anders' shop. And yeah, I could take the strong man's hammer, but with my I, my cooldowns are basically where I want them, so I don't know if that would me if that would make a positive difference. I don't think it would. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think realistically, I know myself well enough to know that I'm not going to get any benefit out of that. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, I have, why can my summons not get any work done against any of the bosses? Maybe that's just one of the weaknesses of the summon build. Alright, so we are going to grab Aqua Beam. Alright. Keep in mind, I don't do summon builds often, so learning the specific nuances of a summon build is something that's difficult for me. I also took the Magician's Top Hat early, which I think was a mistake. God damn it. Or not Magician's Top Hat, I took Magician's Wand early, and that clearly ended up being a mistake. God damn, I... Like, I really think the, the, the Magician's Wand wasn't... Why are you offering me that twice? No! Good lord. Yeah, the Magician's Wand was definitely a mistake. Don't pick that up unless you uh, <clears throat> unless you know you're going to get a top hat. Speaking of which, the moment of truth has arrived. Five chances. you got to get two out of five right. It's so long with the holiday season. I'm not feeling as generous. That's right, you heard me. No holidays, no generosity. No, I'm kidding. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's see what we get. We're going to be dropping the box in five, four, three, two, one. Mystery box! All right, so we've got <clears throat> Supply Crate, Ironclad Card Holder, Midas' Helmet, Noxious Dapper Cap, and Igniting Sprite Vessa. I'll pretty much be taking all of these, actually. So, if you got some combination of those five, those five correct, then then you are in the running to either decide the contents of my next run. Or have me talk about a topic that you're interested in hearing me talk about. Let's wait so I can resummon you guys. Yes, I can summon Ward of Winds, but it's probably not going to be very effective, let's be real. Like, non-upgraded, it's it, those wards don't, don't drop their effects very often, and until it's upgraded, I can't count on what it's going to upgrade. I have nothing wind-based. I see multiple things here I like. I'll probably end up going with the adorable mimic, but 
first things first, I want to see what else is available throughout the rest of the floor. You know, be a bit more patient. Mmm, the pure chaos is just fascinatingly lovely. Free Strongman's Hammer, that's interesting. If there were another type of run, I might go with it, but as it, as it stands, I don't know. Ow. Alright, what do we got here? I think Claws of Toma would be very interesting if, it, if I didn't already have the upgrade. Not surprisingly, I never. I don't think I'm gonna get the top hat. You know, color me shocked. But I did get a f I did get a freebie here, so let's drop all the things I want to keep. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. I should hold on to that. I want to keep those. That can go. I want to keep those. That can go. And I want to keep those. All right. I think we've got it. There we go. Oh, whoops. I accidentally got rid of the wallet. I said I was going to keep it. Take it back, neither. Uh, no extra summons. Knockout Boulder might be nice, though. Considering what this build is centered around, you know, damage, or I should say attack power, that one would be good to have, but... I'm not going to push it yet. Fatal firecrackers have been a lot of fun, by the way. Summoner on Summoner Battle. That's what I thought. Okay. Can't 
can't really... I mean, I can afford it monetarily, but I don't have a lot of health right now. So we're gonna come over this way and hope it's not another dead end. Now, for those of you who are curious about putting together a summoning build, um, one, of the, one of the things I learned is that the ward spells actually are affected by, by the relics that affect summons. So, and really, real honestly, the only one of those that's really worth it is the Ward of Chaos. But I would say, if you're going to run that, maybe run that, no flash agents... And then just kind of pick and choose whatever you want from everything else. Alright, I think I'm gonna grab this to power up the Mind Shock agents. And actually, I'm gonna stick with what I have so that I get a, the best bonus out of Dagger of Might as possible. Once again, Summoner on Summoner match. All right, first, first signature cast of the entire run. So that is one of the weaknesses of using of using summons is that the agents don't necessarily get you any. Oh, I think the seekers also count, but I never saw any of them either. So seekers, wards, and agents all count. There we go. At least it wasn't Fueled Berserk again. That would have actually made me a little upset. I am stupid. Why did I use that as my opening move? I'll tell you what was going on. I thought I was actually using my summons, and then afterwards my brain said, no, they're not on that one. be our second signature cast. Oh wow, at the very end of the of the run they give me the top hat. Wow. That's actually a little insulting. However, at least I've got my goddamn cast speed back. Like Jesus.
All right. And you know, I just realized, Soaring Ivy is very much a whip, so... This felt very much like a Rhydeo run. And she is my favorite summoner from the Final Fantasy series, and yes, that even includes the game where some... Well, the two games where summoning was a really big aspect of the game, which of course would have been 8 and 9. In 8, pretty much everyone was a summoner because you couldn't get anything done without Guardian Forces. And in 9, the two summoner characters were highly integrated into the story, or at least the aspect of summoning was. So, you know, Garnet and Aiko. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Final Fantasy IX is fucking fantastic. Final Fantasy VIII, I can take it or leave it. There you go. So, that's it. I hope I hope you guys had fun, and maybe one of you guys will get the will get the two the two relics guest. If you do, let me know so we can work out the details of either what you want me to run or what topic you want me to talk about, and we'll go from there. As per usual, thank you guys very much for continuing to support me. I'm very grateful for it. Um, as per usual, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hey, if you know someone who digs this type of material, share the video with someone. I would very much appreciate it, and keep the keep the channel growing. I know I've got some new new subscribers to the family, so thank you very much for that. I appreciate you wanting to spend time around me. That having been said, I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Darksage Walker, and I will be seeing you.